Hi, and welcome to Bailey's Academy Online. Today, we're going to learn how to dial in our grinder for great tasting espresso. Dialing in is simply the process of calibrating our grinder to your chosen recipe to get the best and most consistent flavor from our coffee. Recommended recipes are available in your Bailey's training manual or from your barista trainer. Today, I will be using the Noda blend, which has a recommended recipe of 18 grams for our dose and 25 to 30 seconds for our extraction rate. On our grinder, we have two adjustable elements. Our grind texture, which is controlled by the grind adjustment collar, and our dose, which is set with the electronic screen. Our grind texture controls our extraction rate, and our dose is simply the amount of dry coffee we want to have in our basket. It is very important to keep our dose and our extraction rate consistent, as this is the secret to consistently good tasting espresso. Let's get started. First, we need to prepare a test shot. Every dose for our test shots must be weighed and manually adjusted to the correct amount. So make sure to tear your handle to zero before grinding your dose. If you need a little more coffee to reach your desired dose, use the manual dispense button to add an extra burst of coffee. If you have too much, simply take some away with a spoon until you get it right. Once we have the correct dose in the basket, distribute, tamp and brew the shot. Take care to be consistent with each of your critical steps. It is especially important to keep your tamp pressure as consistent as possible when dialing in. Timing our shot allows us to determine if the grind texture is too coarse or too fine. Today, we are aiming for an extraction rate of between 25 to 30 seconds. If our espresso runs too quickly, it will be under extracted and sour tasting. This is what happens when our grind texture is too coarse. If our espresso runs too slowly, it will be over extracted and it will lack sweetness and tasting more bitter. This happens when the grind texture is too fine. One way to remember this is that the water will run quickly through pebbles but slowly through sand. Coarsely ground coffee has plenty of little spaces in between the grinds, allowing the water to flow through more easily, like pebbles. Finely ground coffee has a lot less space for the water to flow through, slowing it down more like sand. To correct our extraction rate, we will make an adjustment to the grind texture using the grind adjustment collar. Your grinder should have a label indicating which direction is finer and which is coarser, when correcting grind size, we should only move by one increment at a time and always make a note of your starting point. It may not look like much, but just this little adjustment will have a big effect on our extraction time. Once the grind has been adjusted, it is very important we remember to purge and discard two doses of coffee before preparing our next test shot. This is to clear out the ground coffee on our old grind setting and allow the new grind size to come through. Now we're ready to test our adjustment with another test shot. Make sure to be as consistent as possible with your critical steps and be doubly sure to check and adjust your dose as you go. Repeat these steps until you get a shot at the desired extraction rate. This is what we should be aiming for. You can see our espresso is running at a steady, controlled pace. We have hit our desired extraction rate, so our espresso should be well extracted with a balance of acidity, sweetness and bitterness. Always taste your espresso at this stage. Perfect. Sweet, smooth, balanced and rich. I'm very happy with that, but we're not quite done yet. We still need to calibrate our dose. We use the electronic keypad to adjust dose. First, press and hold the menu button until the screen displays four dashes. Then select the double shot button. We can see that the grinder works on time, not weight, so we must use a trial and error approach to get our dose just right. Here the grinder is grinding for six seconds, but I know from my last test shot that my dose is only 17 grams. I can use the plus and or minus buttons to tell the grinder to grind for slightly longer, then hold the menu button until the screen flashes twice to save this change. Make sure to continue weighing your dose 
and adjusting the programmed time accordingly until your dose is within 0.2 grams of the desired amount. Every grinder will have a little variance from dose to dose, so we can allow a tolerance of 0.2 grams either side. Congratulations, you are now dialed in. This should remain stable for a few hours at least, but always check your dose every few hours and at any time when the extraction rate drifts from its desirable range. You may start off using a recommended recipe, but as you gain confidence, don't be afraid to make adjustments to your recipe if they improve the overall flavor. And remember to always taste as you go. Do check out our How to Taste Espresso video for more info on this. Lastly, here are a few troubleshooting tips to help you along the way. If you make a grind adjustment and the following test shot doesn't perform the way you expected, ask yourself the following questions. If you forget to purge your grinder after making an adjustment, you may find that your next test shot doesn't change at all. This is because the new grind setting hasn't made it through yet. Purge your grinder and make another test shot without making any further adjustments. This one happens even to the best of us. People make mistakes and it is very easy to accidentally move the adjustment collar the opposite way than you originally intended. If you find your extraction rate goes the opposite way to what you expected, try preparing another test shot before making any further adjustments. If you forget to weigh your dose, you may find you have more or less in the basket than originally intended. Even half a gram, too much or too little, will have an effect on our extraction rate. So you, if you think this is the case, make sure to prepare another test shot and be extra careful to weigh and adjust your dose accordingly. If you tamped differently or caught the handle on the edge of the machine when inserting, the extraction may occur differently and may give confusing results. If you think this has happened, try preparing another test shot, being extra consistent with your critical steps and be extra gentle when inserting the handle into the machine. I hope this video has helped you navigate the essential skill of dialing in. It can be a little daunting at first, but remember you won't get any better by avoiding it and it does get easier the more you do it. So get cracking and good luck.